Okay. So we're going to start with a very brief warm up and then we'll continue doing some gentle warm ups and, and we'll get a little bit more vigorous today since we need a little bit more energy and excitement. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, hands to prayer position. And draw the bottom ribs in and up. And just extend up, looking at your hands, bringing your chest forward and up and your hands back. So upper body back bend. And then exhaling, just follow your hands and pivot on over into the forward bend. Tuck in your chin, top of the head toward the floor. Keep the kneecaps lifting, the sitting bones lifting and let the back of the legs get a good stretch and then palms together inhale slowly come back to standing and shoulders down keep looking at your hands and again just extend them up thumbs coming back upper body back bend and exhaling hands to your heart pivoting over dropping into ragdoll Slide your hands up onto, under your knees on your shins. Press the palms into your shin. Lift the chest forward. Tuck the chin in a little so the back of the neck gets a good stretch and see if you can be parallel to the floor. And then bring your arms straight out at shoulder level to the sides and pivot up. And raise your arms overhead and back into prayer and mountain pose. So just take a moment feeling your spine getting a little more energized. And then one hand down, the other hand out, palm toward the ceiling, arm over your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep that arm in the air by the ear. Keep your body facing the front as you come into that side stretch and push the foot you're leaning away from down. So get the ribs stretching apart, lengthen out through the top of your head and your hand, you can slightly look up to make sure that shoulder doesn't roll forward. And then inhale, sliding up, exhale that arm down. Feel the side of your body, keep the fingers down on that arm and other arm out, palm toward the ceiling and over your shoulder. Push the hands away and again, keep the body forward as you lean over to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down to accentuate that stretch on the side and out through your head and your hand. Just relax and stretch. And then inhaling, come back up and exhale back to mountain. So make sure that your whole body is nicely aligned, sitting bones toward the floor, crown toward the ceiling and swing gently side to side for a little gentle warm-up twist. So we're going to do a few twists this morning, as well as a little bit more invigorating practice today. So just allow that spine to go through its range of motion, maybe increasing at each end of your rotation. Keep the head reaching up, the spine opening so that those bones have room to move into your twists. Keep breathing, shoulders relaxed. And then come back to the center and again, realign in mountain pose. And then we're gonna to step to the front of the mat and turn sideways and step into a wide position so that your legs are as far apart as your inseam length if you want to be into the fully positioned place for your feet. So we're going to keep the body facing that direction and we're going to move into our warrior legs. So bring your arms to the sides, you can turn them palms up and then back down to make sure your shoulders stay released. And then turn one foot 90 degrees and the other foot heel back toes forward and pivot that front knee right above your ankle. 
So we've done this before. Just get your positioning so that that back knee is going the same direction your toes are facing. And those arms stay at shoulder level, both in the front and the back. And then sink into both feet evenly so the back foot has as much weight into it as the front foot. And don't forget to keep breathing. Spread your toes. Get really sinking down into both feet evenly with your body sinking straight down, not leaning forward. And then we're going to take the back arm and swing it around down until it's parallel to the front arm, pulling that back hip around so you're coming into warrior one. And then palms toward each other, arms over your shoulders, sinking into warrior one. So that both hips face the front and both shoulders face the front. So again, sink into both feet evenly. Keep breathing. Relax down through the shoulders. Ribs in and up, support that lower back. And then bring your palms together and to your heart. And we're going to go into a twist. So this is a little bit tr tricky and strenuous. As you pivot forward slightly, rotate your elbow to the outside of that front knee, but keep your thumbs right at your heart and turn your whole body to look toward the side. So this is a deep twist. If you love it and you don't need that elbow pressing into the knees for leverage to get into your twist, you can open out your arms. So that front knee stays right above the ankle, the hand goes down next to the ankle, and the other arm right straight above you toward the ceiling. And then if you've separated your hands, bring them back to your heart, rotate forward, arms out and up into warrior one, back into warrior two, turn your feet to the front in the energized star, and release. So you can stay there or you can turn around to the other side of your mat if you need to, to see the screen. I'm gonna turn so that I can continue to look at you when I do it. So again, sinking into your position with your legs as wide as you want them to be. Relax your shoulders down, keep your body nice and open and bring your arms out to the sides, shoulder level. Palms up and then back down to keep those shoulders released. Lengthen up through the crown and position your warrior feet. So turn that first foot 90 degrees, the back one heel back, toes forward, keeping the knee and toes in line. So the whole butt, the whole leg rotates from the thigh. Take a moment to breathe as you bend that front knee and come into your warrior two. So you're sinking your body straight down. Both feet have weight evenly on them. So the outside of that back foot as much as the one that the knee is bent on. So take a moment and breathe. You can look forward over that middle finger of your front hand and keep the back arm at shoulder level. And then bringing that back arm down and around, bring it parallel to the front, Pulling that back hip around with you into the warrior one position. Palms face each other and over your shoulders. Again, just sinking into both feet evenly, spreading your toes, getting comfortable with your positioning. Both hips and shoulders facing the front. Take a moment to breathe and get situated. And then palms together, bring your hands to your heart, and again, pivoting forward, placing that elbow outside the knee, rotating your whole body to look to the side. Stay there if that's enough, or open out your arms and stretch the shoulders. Take a moment to breathe there. And then bringing the hands back together if you separated them, return them to the heart. Unwind, face the front, pivoting up, and back into warrior. Release the arms, back into warrior two. Turn your feet to the front in star position and return to mountain pose. Take a moment to feel all that energy through your body. 
deep breath in, exhale, and release any tension from your warrior. And again, hands to your heart. Look at your thumbs. Inhaling, follow them up. Thumbs back, lifting your heart a little higher. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart. Pivoting over, coming into ragdoll. Hands sliding up on your shins in that halfway up stretch, lengthening your spine. And then bending your knees, exhaling, come on down to child's pose. Sinking your hips to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead coming down toward the mat. And just take a few moments there to breathe, connect to the earth, and relax your shoulders. Let your spine release. And then inhaling, bring your hands out to the front and pivot up onto your hands and knees into table. So remember, in table, wrists, elbows, and shoulders are lined up. Knees are right under the hips, toes straight back from there. Come up onto your fingertips, get your whole knuckles, base of the fingers, palms, heels of the palms, good support through your hands. And allow your whole body to be straight through the spine. So remember, lift the bottom ribs, get that support for your lower back, and bring maybe your chest a little toward your thumbs to make sure you're not hunching up in the upper back. Head forward and sitting bones back. And just take a moment to breathe as you find your positioning. Remember, you can pad if you need to under your knees or giving your wrists a break with a little padding under the heel of the palm. So we're going to, again, be a little bit vigorous, and we're going to do a couple of different things in the cat kind of sequence. So as you exhale, bring one knee up toward your forehead, and then extend it out toward the back at hip level. And then bend your elbows down toward the floor and bring your forehead down toward the mat. Leg rising up behind you. And then pressing into your hands, unbend and come back to the leg extended. And then exhale and bring it down. So you're back in table position, just for reposition if you need to. Circle your wrists anytime you need to if they've gotten a little bit overworked. And again, we're doing the other side. So exhaling, bring that knee up toward your forehead. Extend it back to hip level, out through the base of the toes, chest a little bit forward. And then exhaling, bend your elbows, bring your forehead down to the mat as you lay Raise your leg. Take a breath. And then pressing into your hands, come back up, leg at hip level, and return it next to the other one. And again, returning to table position, circling your wrists if you need to. Take a breath. And then one more time, slide that leg out, up to hip level. Stretch it out, extend the other leg forward, or opposite arm forward, get your balance stretch. And then if you want to, take the front hand, reach for that back foot and pull it together, raising the foot into a little bit of a twisting back bend. And then releasing back straight forward with your arm, straight back with your leg, hip toward the floor. Release your hand and your knee. Circle that wrist if you need to. Return to table with your spine nice and flat. Take a breath. And we'll do the other side. So bring that foot out and back and the opposite arm out in front. 
extend through the fingers and the base of the toe, stay there. Or if you want, reach your hand back to your foot, pull the foot and hand together as you raise that foot, coming into a little bit of a twisty back bend. Take a breath, relax. And then release again, back into your foot. Hand to the mat, knee to the floor, coming back into table position. Circle your wrists if you need to. Feel the ribs supporting that lower back, chest forward, spine straight. And then if you want, we'll do one more that's a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna take the right hand over a little bit forward and to the side of the mat. And then extending out with the opposite leg, press into that hand that you extended forward and bring your other hand up to your hip and look to the side. So that leg in back of you is at hip level and your whole body is facing the side. If that's working for you, you can bring the arm in the air up right above your shoulder. And if you want to, you can hold that foot and raise it up. So bringing the foot back down, bringing the hand back to your hip and then to the floor and the knee to the mat and walk that other hand in. So finding yourself back at table position, readjust anything you need to. And of course, we need to balance the body. So take your left hand forward and towards the side of the mat and extend your opposite leg back and rotating to the side, bring that hand to the hip as you look to the front of your body. Stay there or bring that arm up in the air above your shoulder. So that leg behind you stays at show at hip level. The arm stays either on your hip or going toward the ceiling or reaching back for the foot. You go into a little bit more stress, stressing, I don't know, interesting place. <laughs> and then the leg back out the arm back up, down to your hip, returning to the mat, knee to the floor, hand coming in, returning to table position. Nice flat back. Take a breath and exhale, sinking back, hips toward your heels, head toward the floor, hands at your side, in child's pose. So take a couple of breaths there and relax, getting everything re-stretched out and relaxed. We're gonna do one more thing that's a little bit different from what we've been doing. So sit up and bring your legs out to the front of the mat. And we're going to roll onto your back along the mat. So just coming onto your back, Get your positioning. Now, we're gonna do shoulder stand and plow, and then we'll finish with the fish. So when we do this, it's a little bit strenuous. You want to make sure you stay on your shoulders, not your neck. So if you've got a lot of bend in your neck and it would be uncomfortable, get a blanket or fold up your mat so that you have a little bit of more space under your shoulders and your head can tip back down off the mat. I'm gonna turn sideways so it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. So you're laying on your back, hands at your side, press your whole body down, spine down into the floor and bend your knees, drawing them up next heels next to your hips. You're gonna press down with your hands, exhale, Kick your knees up and bring your hips off the floor. And then hold your hands on your lower back to support yourself 
move your elbows toward each other as you work into more of an upright position. So you want to be on your shoulders, not your neck, back of your head touching the mat or the floor off that support that you put under your shoulders. And then the more you move your hands toward your shoulder blades and your elbows toward each other, the more you'll get your body up into the straight shoulder stand position. You can keep bent at the hips, which is a little bit easier, or you can keep bent at the knees, which doesn't extend quite as much toward the ceiling. If you feel like your arms aren't close enough, you can clasp your hands behind you and move back and forth onto your shoulders as you press your hands together and work up that way. And then bring your hands back to support your body if you'd like. So breathing, relaxing. If you like this and you wanna go a little deeper, you can bring your hand, head, feet over your head to the floor behind you in plow position. And again, that allows you to reposition onto your shoulders more. So you wanna be tucking in your chin into that notch at the base of your throat. You wanna make sure you're still on your head and your shoulders, whether you're in plow or shoulder stand. If you're in plow, you can bring one leg up into shoulder stand at a time, and then return it and do the other one. Or you can bring both feet up and back into shoulder stand. So your choices. When you're ready to release, you can bend your knees toward your head and roll back down onto your mat and extend your legs out. Take a moment in corpse position, just readjusting, realigning, and relaxing. And then that was a very intense forward bend. So we're going to do just an also intense backward bend to kind of undo some of that. So you're going to take your hands, palms down next to your hips, and bring your thumbs and palms on the mat under your hips. Pull your elbows away into your ribs at your side. Your shoulders will kind of hunch up a little towards your ears. That's okay. Because we're going to press into the hands and elbows and lift your whole upper body off the floor looking at your toes. And then lifting your heart toward the ceiling, rotate your head and look behind you. And if you want to go into the full fish, take the top of your head, the crown, all the way down to the floor so that you've got a big arch from your sitting bones all the way to the top of your head at the crown. If you like that, you can release your arm and bring them up onto your ribs, heels of the palms at the ribs, fingertips up towards the ceiling in prayer position. So whatever position you're in, whether your elbows and arms are down, whether your head is down or not, just take a breath or two here. If your hands are up, bring them back down. Press into your elbows and forearms. Ooh, tuck your chin back towards your chest. And then roll your whole body back down into corpse position. And as you get into corpse position, just close your eyes, focus inward, and allow yourself some time to breathe and relax. Scan through your body. Let anything tense and tight go. Exhale. Just allow your whole being to release any tension. Deep breaths. Exhaling all the tension, all the tightness, all the toxins. Let your belly move, focusing inward into that yoga frame of reference, scanning through your body, allowing it to completely release and relax.
As your body relaxes, just let it go deep into that earth embrace. And allow your awareness to turn inward. As you do, releasing thoughts of your body, you may notice other thoughts coming to your mind. Just let them go as well. There's no need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. At this moment, let your mind drift without awareness, releasing the content of your thoughts as easily as your breath. Deep breaths, body relaxing, mind drifting, and just allow your awareness to turn inward. Find the peace within. Let it fill your body, fill your mind. Fill your being. Peace. And then, when you're ready, just begin returning energy and awareness to the moment, to the room, to your body, allowing your body to begin moving gently as you become ready. And when you're ready to sit back up, press your back down, draw your knees to your heart first for that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its work in yoga and the work it does for you every day. Head to the mat, hands down, rolling to the side and sitting back up, coming into a cross leg position. And we're gonna do one little breathing exercise to finish our practice today. So connect into your sitting bones, straighten up through your spine, bottom ribs in and up, crown to the ceiling, shoulders relaxing down. If you're a creature of habit, go ahead and switch your legs around if you're in cross leg position, or you can keep them extended out in front of you in staff position if you prefer. We're gonna take the right hand in front of the nose, palm open, and then press your thumb into the nostril and exhale on the other side, and then breathe in. And then taking your little finger and your ring finger to that nostril that you were breathing on, press it in, releasing your thumb. And again, exhale and inhale. So continuing to alternate, pressing in the thumb, exhaling and inhaling. And then the little finger and ring finger pressing in, exhaling on the opposite side and inhaling. And just continue alternating, taking the breath as slowly as feels comfortable, just allowing that relaxation and inner awareness to draw your focus to the breath only, allowing your body and your mind to completely relax. And then after an exhalation, you can just bring your hands back to your lap, palms up, breathing deep, closing your eyes, 
just allowing your awareness to drift inward into that meditative center once more, fully relaxed and aware, and just noticing. Aware of whatever it is, the peace within, a deep relaxation into the earth beneath you. The calmness and peace of your yoga practice that you can take with you into the world. And go ahead and stay there in your peace and bliss for as long as you'd like. Or if you need to, bring your awareness back to the moment, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.